Good afternoon, everyone, especially Connecticut, but anywhere else that's listening. These videos mean everything to every state because the information is valuable as far as I'm concerned. One, obviously, the Bible, yes, but COVID-19. So today we made another jump in the numbers. Now, today's I'm going by yesterday's closing numbers for Connecticut for senior citizens. I have not looked at today's closing numbers for senior citizens. In fact, I don't think they're keeping track today. So in Connecticut, I think I read on their website, they're not going to keep track and put out the numbers. Let's see how accurate they are because I snapshot their screen every day just to see if they're up to par. So with that being said, 87.1% of senior citizens who get COVID survive. 87.1. So the vaccines have rolled out, right? And I'm not even sure what they were in Connecticut. I can't remember the number they put out so far in Connecticut. But um, not tons. But here's the thing. Oh, it's getting hot in here. Ooh, I have trouble breathing when it gets too hot, but I need the windows rolled up so I don't want to hear any you know, trucks. Or anything driving by honking the horn as I'm trying to do the video. Well, we will survive. Um, no, I'm not quoting the disco song from the 70s, early 80s. But we will survive. Uh, many people will. Those who are dying are over the age expectancy rate anyways. Um, <coughs> that wasn't COVID. Calm down. Um, that's not a bad thing. Yes, if we lose someone, it's a bad thing we miss them. I'll miss my father when he passes. But I know he's at that age level, that, that expectancy rate to pass on. And I'm okay with that. Will it be sad? Yes. It's not like I'm not going to miss the guy. But that is part of what happens in life. His body is breaking down. Um, <clears throat> he has a lot of heart issues, and heh, which is funny. He has a lot of heart conditions. Uh, he's had blood clots. I'm not even going to go into long. But he's had how the man keeps bouncing back. I'll never know. But here's the thing, he does not have COVID-19. He goes out, he doesn't wear his mask everywhere, but he goes out. I was just with him the uh, the other day, we didn't wear masks. And he does get tested, by the way. I do not, but he does. And uh, yeah, so far he's good, so that's a good thing. So, I didn't wanna go too long, but 87.1% of Connecticut, you're fine. Here's the thing, what happened and this goes out to those of you who say you're Christians. Give me scripture that says that you should live in fear. Give me the scripture that says that you should be more concerned about what man says than God says. Anytime you want, give me the scriptures. I'm sure, yes, there'll be scriptures like pre-trib and post-trib and uh, how, how um, well, in my opinion, post-twist it. But, hey... I'm not saying you're bad people, don't get me wrong, because that's not, that wouldn't be, well, that's unbiblical. <laughs> that is completely unbiblical for me to hate you because of your, you decided to be post. My job is to pray, and if you disagree with me, your job also, if you say you follow the Bible, is to pray for me. That's what we do. That's what we do. We pray for understanding, and we pray for others to understand. We're not all at the same level, absolutely. There are those out there who clearly know more about the Bible than I will ever understand. Well, I shouldn't say ever. Maybe. Maybe I'll be uh, fortunate enough to understand as much as some do. And I know more about the Bible than other people. That's the way life works. You know? Chances are, um, excluding Jesus when he was 12, so I don't want anybody to use that example, people, you know, are 12, don't have quite the same understanding as someone who are 42 or 52 or 62. You see what I'm saying? Now, going off a little bit there. But again, I want to remind everybody in Connecticut, 87.1% survival rate. It's gone up from 78.9% uh, in October to 87. We're nearly 10% better before we started rolling out massive vaccines. Hello. No one wants to pay attention to that. Here's a side note, but just as important. Tolland County, I live in that county, so I'm just giving it away where I live. I live in Tolland County. Now, the other day, the number was, not yesterday, but the previous day, the number was 4,777 cases, uh, 109 deaths, which means 2.2% of Tolland County's cases led to death, which means, hello, 
Anybody want to do the math? It's only what, 97%? 97% survival rate? That's a pretty deal. Good deal. Sorry, my nose is itchy for some odd reason today. That's a good deal. Nobody wants death. None. But as of last night, I didn't break down the number, but I looked at it briefly. It was 4,800 and something cases and still 109 deaths. So we know that number is, uh, now we know the survival rate's even better. So are we going to say the vaccine worked? The vaccine worked. Miracle drug, overnight, it worked. It does not work that way. Go back to all the studies you've read over the years with the flus and the vaccines. They say it doesn't work right away. It gradually, gradually you'll see a change in numbers. Sometimes a dip, but gradually they get the numbers are supposed to work. Well, that's the hypothesis of anyways. So there it is. So Connecticut, 87.1%. Oh, you know what? Scripture. Proverbs. Oh, I can't believe I almost forgot. That's not a good thing. Uh-oh, loss of memory. Joke. All right, Proverbs. I had it uh, saved here. It was chapter uh, 3. I thought I had it. Chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. Good, let's go to the next verse. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. What does that mean? I'll tell you what I think it means. I mean, you could take it on different levels, but we are not going to understand. We don't have the ability to understand the greater cause of this whole thing. We have an amazing situation where the Lord is much more powerful. It's always, why do I say situation? He's always been more powerful. So the understandings of man, yeah. Who should you look to? I'm just saying. So with that being said, trust in the Lord. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. And again, that verse is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Thank you for tuning in. God bless. And tell someone today they have a high chance of living.